President Obama creating quite a buzz after revealing that the White House has its own special beer brewed right at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. And I'm sure you know by now the White House is now brewing its own beer. The Republicans say the White House beer is actually pretty good, just don't drink the Kool-Aid. Yeah, that's kind of where it is. I guess the president revealed this on his Ask Me Anything thing that he did on, the, on Reddit.com. Reddit, yeah. the, uh, the only problem is the president wouldn't release the secret recipe when asked about it. So our next guest took matters into his own hands by filing a Freedom of Information request. That, that recipe no longer a national secret thanks to his effort. Joining us now is the lawyer and the brewer who filed that request, Scott Talkov. Nice to see you this morning, Scott. Thanks so much for having me, Dave and Clayton. So you, were you on Reddit that day watching the stream come through and decided to get in on this, I, or you heard about it later? I, I heard about it later. I, I can't believe that that was one of the top questions that was asked of him, and he was very upfront. He said, I'm going to be releasing this recipe. He's been very transparent, and I'm not surprised that he did it so quickly. Yeah, we, we heard about this months ago, um, only to be confirmed on this conversation. Uh, so why did you want to file a freedom of information request, and how did it get answered so quickly? People can't get answered on Fast and Furious, on serious situations facing the United States. How did you get this process through? Well, I think Barack Obama didn't understand how much interest there is in his personal life and how he brews and home brewers across the nation uh, showed so much interest on the internet with the petition and the Freedom of Information Act requests. Uh, and, and once Barack Obama saw that there was such interest, he created a video. He showed the recipes. He released everything. It only took about 10 days. Uh, some things are more complicated, but this is a rather simple matter, and he did the right thing. Okay, now can quickly. you replicate this as a brewer because it's called Ale to the Chief. That's the link on the website, of course, on, I think, whitehouse.gov. Uh, you know, there's a long history at the White House of brewing. George Washington was one of our favorite uh, whiskey distillers in American history, and people recently tried to replicate that recipe. Are you going to be able to replicate this recipe? Absolutely. Brewers across the nation will be able to look at this recipe and create their own White House honey ale or White House um, honey porter um, for a debate watching party or just enjoy to celebrate <laughs> the four million new private sector jobs or the capture of Osama bin Laden or whatever they would want to drink it for. <laughs> All you've got to do is t find those ingredients. You can buy them at more beer or at various uh, outlets throughout the nation. Uh, home brewing is really picked up. And if you look at the type of uh, measures that you're using at the White House to create this, it's exactly what a home brewer would be doing. Five gallon batches, it's something that anybody can do just a few hundred dollars. But you cannot get honey from the own White House garden, which of course they will do for all these beers. Uh, real quickly, how difficult is the process of a freedom of information request to the White House? Oh, it's very easy. It took me about a couple hours. I did some research to double check that, yes, the Freedom of Information Act does apply to the White House. It would apply to a record like this. You know, you just draft a letter and you send it over and see what huh. they say. And uh, people may find out that the um, Barack Obama administration will be more forthcoming than they might, than they might imagine, even quicker than they might, might imagine. You can imagine, though, that there's been some criticism, of course, of this White House for being saying right. that they're going to be transparent. <laughs> Daryl um, Issa wants to make it this easy. Right. I mean, I wish it could all be about beer. The White House is forthcoming on beer. Are there other things that you think that the White House needs to come forward on? I can't think of any. Are there some, is there something you might be thinking of? <laughs> There's, I think there's plenty of things that uh, members of Congress would like to see, but yeah, I guess beer might not be at the top I mean, of the list. I tell you, I mean, lawyer we'd, all love to see, we'd all love to see Mitt Romney's uh, taxes, and we haven't seen those, so there's issues wow. on both sides, we're, I'm sure. We're not going to go down that road. <laughs> lawyer Brewer, that's an interesting combination. You might have a reality show there, Scott. Thanks for joining us this morning. Appreciate it. Thanks, Scott. Thanks so much.